the next thing that we're going to do is our services page. So just go ahead and click on services. And let's make this page full width by clicking on edit page. And under templates, instead of default, let's do full width page and press update. Then we can view page. And now let's add in our headline up here. So let's go to page builder. And under row layouts, let's drag in one column right in there. All right, we don't need two of these here. Okay, so now that we've done that, let's go to row settings and let's put in our image. So let's make it full width, though the width and the content width also full width. And let's make our background uh, a photo. And let's select the photo. Let's go to upload files, select files, and find that uh, photo. Here it is, services. And let's select the photo. All right, once we do that, we can do the overlay opacity again, and we can just type it in here. This is a color code, and it will change corresponding to what color it is. It's called a hex code, and we can just add it in. So 262626, we know is our color, and let's do 10% again. All right, once we do that, let's add in a little uh, padding to the top and bottom, 120 under the advanced. 120 and 120. All right, and press save. The next thing that we're going to do is add in our headline right here. So just uh, click on add content and go to heading and click and hold and drag it right in there. And this one is called services. So services and it could be 80 pixels, same as before, bold and the color is white. And of course the alignment is center. All right, so that's looking pretty good. We don't need a sub headline and press save. So we have that, that is looking awesome. The next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna add in all of our services right here. So we're gonna add in three um, boxes and three rows of them. So nine uh, services that we have. So let's go ahead and do that. So to do that, we go ahead and click on uh, add content and let's under row layouts, let's drag in three columns and make sure to do it at the bottom. Sometimes you have to wiggle it around a little bit like this. And we have them here. So what we can do is we can just drag in a text editor. Drag it in. There it is. And we can paste in our text. Make sure to, if you're pasting it in from like a anywhere really, um, paste it as plain text. So just click on this and just paste in any of your content all your content that you have in there. Now I added all of the content to the single, um, the single row, but obviously we want each of these to be in its own row. But I did that just so that we can um, make them all headings. So just do the heading three right here and we could do it quickly. So um, if you don't see this, you're gonna wanna toggle this toolbar right here and we can go down and we can make all of this heading three. And this is a lot faster than doing them individually. We want to do as much in bulk as we can. All right, so just add all of them and then we're going to copy and paste them into different uh, rows and columns. All right, once we do that, then we are going to copy by click, hold, and drag everything except for the first one. And then we're gonna press either Command X if you're on a Mac or Control X if you're on a PC just to cut it. Or of course you could right click and press cut. All right, and get rid of any of the spacing and press save. Then we wanna add content again and add, go to the text editor, drag it in, and of course, just paste uh, what we have in there. So control V or command V if you're on a Mac or PC. All right, and then we're gonna again cut it. So command X or control X. And we're just gonna keep on doing this. So add content, text editor, 
this is just a cool way of uh, doing it a little quicker. So command or control V, command or control X, get rid of the spacing and keep on doing that. So what we can do now that we have three, uh, a column with three rows in it is we can press the duplicate button, not here, but here on the whole row and duplicate it and duplicate it once again. And of course, since this is step by step, let's uh, continue to uh, copy and paste all of the things in here. It shouldn't take me too long. You can fast forward the video a little bit if you want to, but we are already halfway done. So it goes pretty quick. So I'm just going to select all by control or command A, delete, control or command V to paste, select it, and then control or command X to get rid of what we don't need. And now we just have three more to do. Okay, A, delete, paste, select all, command X. Okay, and you get pretty good at it once you do it a couple of times. Save and one more, our last one. So Command or Control A, Command or Control V, and done. So that is looking pretty good. The next thing that we're gonna do is we are going to add in a little call to action. So uh, a picture of my brother and my dad, or you know you or whoever it is, um, and with the call us. And um, if they don't want to do that, then they have an, a secondary call to action to learn more about us if they're not sold on us yet. All right, so let's go ahead and let's add in a column. So just add content and drag in a column. And make sure to not drag it here, but drag it here. All right, once we do that, then we know what to do. We're gonna make this full width and the content full width also. Okay, and um, then we're gonna add in an image. So background, we're gonna do a photo and we're gonna select the photo and upload it. There it is. And this picture is kind of cool because it gives space in the middle for any text. So we're gonna select the photo and right now we can't really see them, so we're going to position this at the center top. Okay. And we can do an overlay. It looks pretty good as it is, but just for consistency's sake, we will put in the hex code because now we, we can do that. And we're going to make it 10%. All right, and uh, for this, we are actually going to add in a heading color. So if we um, put in text here, a heading, then it's gonna be white. So to do that, and that's gonna be a setting for the entire row. So to do that, just go to heading color and make it white. And I'll show you uh, about this later. And also go to link color and make this white also. So heading and link color are white. All right, once we do that, then we can add a little spacing and we're only gonna add some spacing to the top. So let's do padding top. Let's do 130 pixels. Oops, you don't need to put in the pixels. And bottom, we're just gonna put zero. We don't need anything in there. And we're going to save. Now, instead of adding in uh, a headline, because we want it on two different lines, we want to call us and then our phone number, we are actually going to add in a text editor and just click hold and wiggle it around a little bit and put it right in here. All right, so we are going to say call us, call us at our phone number. And we are going to make this uh, heading one so make sure to toggle this toolbar if you don't see this heading one and that's the biggest heading heading six is the smallest one um so heading one and we're going to make this bold bold and we're going to make it a big font size so let's do 48 pixels 
All right, but uh, then we're going to center it. So select all of it and align the center, and we can see it right there if we move it over. But um, it's not on two different lines. So what we could usually do is just you know press Enter, but that will give us a new paragraph. We just want a new line. So let's delete the space from here. All right, so it's close up against with each other. And let's put our cursor here and hold Shift and then Enter. Shift enter makes a new line where enter makes a whole new paragraph. So we just want to click on shift enter. All right, to make a new line. Once we do that, we are going to add in um, five spaces. So let's do one, two, three, four, and five. And we are going to add in uh, learn more about us. Learn more about us. Okay, and then we're going to put in a greater than sign. And just click and select it, and we're going to make this a link. So let's make it a link, and let's link it to uh, the About Us page. So just click on that. If you don't see this, just click on this. About Us, add link. All right, now it's done that. Let's highlight it, and let's make it go to the Align Right. And now let's make it the font size bigger. Let's do maybe 22 pixels, so it's a little bigger. And um, let's go to advanced. If we look here, we can see it. Let's go to advanced and uh, let's make the bottom zero. And that looks very cool. All right, and maybe we can add in one more space, one more blank space here if we want to. That looks pretty good and press save. All right, once we do that, we can press done and publish changes. And look at that. We have a really nice call to action here. And if they're not convinced, they can go here and click on it and I'll go to the about us page. So that's looking pretty darn awesome.